Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel today. What's the fuss? Well, today I have for you a Walmart haul. We went to Walmart. I got some food items, and I got some beauty products, and I got um, some candles and wax. So I'm going to show you everything I got. Hubby came in from work, and he rested for a little while, and then he said, let's go out to the Walmart. So we did. And he wanted to stop at Mickey D's, so um, we had, well, he had filet of fish sandwiches, and I had a quarter pounder with cheese for a change, and fries, and of course we had sodas, and um, here's my Coke, and we got the golden arches on this cup, but they're upside down, so I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I need a sip. Mmm. Nice and ice cold. Um, it was a beautiful day today. And tomorrow we're supposed to get 100% rain, but who knows. And Sunday, yeah, 61 degrees. Can't wait. It's going to get nicer now the next several days. It's, um, and even into next week, we're going to have... Um, way above freezing temperatures, uh, 50s and 60s, I can't wait. But there's always that chance that that last-minute snowstorm is going to hit us. So um, we are in March. Today is March 1st. And, um, yeah, before you know it, a couple more um, weeks and it will be officially spring. So, um I'm going to get on with this Walmart haul in no particular order, just as I pull it from the bags. Okay, we're going to start with this right here. Um, I stocked up on some items, some things I've never even seen before. Oh, I forgot to mention, I got an apple pie too. I didn't eat it yet, but I'm going to have it when I end this video. And I'm watching some um, Lifetime movies. I'll snack on my apple pie. I love their apple pies. Okay, um, we're going to start off here with this here. Um, I had to double wrap some things because of it being glass, including my candles, but some jar items too. So, trying to take off the other bags because, like I said, I wrapped them because I, I don't need this glass smashing. So, um, right here we have a bottle of the Great Value White Wine Vinegar. Oh, Jesus, I think I got the wrong product. Oh, God. This is White Wine Vinegar. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I was looking for just a white, white cooking wine, and somehow... This is white wine vinegar instead. It says ideal for amazing chicken for great value. 12.7 fluid ounces super and super for seafood. Dilute with water to 5% acidity, it says. I was looking for the white wine, but I got this. It was $2 and some cents, but I'll use this, but... Um, I was really just looking for the white cooking wine. I, I grabbed it too quickly. I didn't know it's the word vinegar, but we'll use it. It's showing, you know, pasta with shrimp there and up here chicken and some kind of vegetables. But um, this might work. Who knows? We'll see. Um, if not, I'll use it for something else and then I'll get what I'm supposed to be getting. I wanted this because I'm going to be making homemade shrimp scampi. So um, we'll see. Maybe there's a way I can, you know pull this off but um if not I'll just run back and get the right product so yeah got this for two dollars and I think it was 62 cents something like that it was under three dollars so I got the that then I picked up this is the LaCroix brand I've used all the different brands on the market it doesn't make a difference whatever one this one was two two twenty eight a jar and this is 14.8 ounces and this is the LaCroix this is the sweet and sour sauce you can use for, you know, uh, sweet and sour chicken with rice or um, lo mein noodles or your egg rolls or whatever. So, um, or dipping whatever you want in. So I picked up two of them because they're only $2.28 for these large jars. 
So I got those. Also picked up um, never had these before. This is called Val Best. Val, V-A-L, Val Best Chicken Tenders. This is a 24-ounce bag. It's 1.5 1, 1. pounds, and it is shaped breaded chicken patties with rib meat, chicken tenders. And this was um, $3.98, a bag for these. Come in a little close there. Never seen this brand before. First time I seen this in the Walmart. Of course, we went to Buckhorn tonight. And um, it says chicken raised with no added hormones or steroids. It tells you that right there on the back, what I just read right there. And yeah, you can see them through the bag. Um, I don't know how good this is going to work on camera, but in the open clear part here on the side of the bag, I, I don't know. Um, there's not much to work with here, but there's the chicken tenders. There's one of them. So, um, yeah, my husband said, let's take them and try, you know, grate in air fryer, oven, however you want to do them. If you want to put them in a skillet, it has all the things on the back. Deep fryer, conventional oven, toaster oven, microwave, air fryer. It's all there for each one. It tells you what to do for each source of, um, cooking them. So they're great, you know, even with a Caesar salad, like they're showing on the front there. So we got these. I might use some of those with the sweet and sour sauce. Um, if they're really good, they look good. Um, Val Best. I'm going to grab some more of these. Um, these are distributed by Val Best Company. Um, Farmersville, Louisiana. Made in the USA. So, yeah, got those first time. They look good. I'm sure they'll be fine. All right, then I had to pick up some frozen veggies. I have canned veggies. I have some fresh veggies, but I wanted to get some um, frozen veggies where there's a variety in a bag instead of just one veggie. Um, I got two bags of these. They were two dollars and no. Yes, yeah. They were two twelve a bag. This is twelve ounces. This is the California style veggie mix. It's broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots, and they were two twelve a bag. I don't know why, but that's what they were. Or were they a dollar twelve a bag? One or the other. I just can't remember. Um. 12 ounces in each one. So I picked up two of these to put these in stir-fry meals again, or maybe just one of them in a stir-fry, and one I'll save to either cover it in butter or possibly melted cheddar cheese on the veggies. So got those. Two of the same thing. That's the California, the California mix. Got them. Okay. And I picked up a bag. This was 98 cents. This is also 12 ounces. It's the peas and carrots. We love peas and carrots. You know, as a side, um, putting it in um, some stir fries also, whatever. Love peas and carrots, 12 ounce, 98 cents though. The California mix was a couple cents more. I'm pretty sure it was a dollar 12. So um, then, that takes care of that. Then I picked up some of these Marie Callender, the bowl, as it's called, the savory bowl dinners. These are good when you just, you know, want something light or you just want to eat in a freaking hurry and you had a bad day. You just want to crawl under the covers, but you need to eat. Um, this here is 11.5 ounces. This is the Marie Callender Swedish meatballs bowl. It's the Swedish meatballs with freshly made pasta tossed with sour cream. Never had this one before, but we're going to give it a whirl. And I looked because in my area, just my Walmart, my Walmart wants more for these. They want three something, almost just a little under $4. Also seen these in Dollar General Family Dollar. They're five bucks. Yeah, uh-huh. And then... um. 
other grocery stores, you know, up and down with the price. But tonight when I was in the Buckhorn Walmart, these, I had to look twice. I had to look twice at that big, huge sign that they usually put a big sign up above freezer items or um, um, items that's in the center aisle going down, you know, on skids and things like that. I always had those much big, much bigger price signs. And here, these were only two... Two forty-seven. I'm pretty sure is what I paid for these. I know it wasn't. It was way under three dollars. That's why I grabbed them. So this one is the Swedish meatball. I got one for me, and I picked up one for my husband because he loves Swedish meatballs too. Over the pasta noodles, almost like a beef and noodle in a way. So I got those, and since my husband doesn't like broccoli, he does not like broccoli. He'll eat peas, carrots, string beans, and corn. And that's about it. Um, other than red beets and um, sweet potatoes, those kind of things. But he is not a broccoli fan or a cauliflower fan. But I picked up two extra ones for myself. This is called tender ginger beef and broccoli bowl. It is tender beef with broccoli in a savory sauce over rice. And this one is 11 point. Eight ounces, just a tiny bit more. So I picked the, um, I picked two of these up for myself. So I'll have them for you know, like I said, something quick, or if I just want a light lunch, something you know when I'm home here. So bought those. I will go back and get more because that's that's really a good deal on them right now. So pick those up. Then hold on, just a moment, please. Trying to put them back in the bag because I have to throw them in the freezer. All right, then let me see here what I got. Oh, because he got his lifesavers again. This is the 13 ounce bag, and they're individually wrapped. And everyone knows the story if you watch my channel faithfully. My husband always gets the lifesavers in the um, window greens. Yep, another bag of them for another week ahead of work. So. He goes through a lots of these. So I got that bag there. And my husband said about picking up the ch the ch yeah, the ch the chicken in the can. Regular chicken in the can. Um you have Swanson brand, you have some other brands, and then we always have the great value brand. Um this is four of these cans of the chicken. Um, quick chicken salad or anything where you got to add some chicken to a Caesar salad or anything like that. This is the four pack right here. You have four of these huge cans and each of the cans is 12.5 ounces, just a little under 13 ounces a piece. And the total net weight is 50 ounces, but each can is 12.5. So the total here is with all four combined, it's three pounds, two ounces of chicken. And it's an excellent source of protein. Chunky chicken breast with rib meat in water fully cooked. So we got these, like I said. Easy chicken salad, chicken over a Caesar salad. Um, if you want to make a quick um, broccoli chicken uh, Florentine dish, you know, with noodles and um, Alfredo sauce, something like that. You, you can substitute, you know, and put this chicken in in a hurry if you don't have um, chicken breasts or something on hand and, or a whole chicken that you might have some, you know, leftover meat from or something that you want to turn it in. You can just get this and this will do the trick. So, got that. We haven't had it for a while. This also make also you can use that in um, a quick um, chicken noodle soup for yourself, <clears throat> okay? Then my husband picked up one can I don't understand this. I don't know what he picked up this little can of chunk chicken breast with rib meat for it. It's fully cooked too. Maybe he must have forgot himself. He didn't look at it right. He looked, I bet you he was trying to pick up tuna fish and he picked up chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this little can is um, five ounces. But it's the same thing as those big ones. I think he grabbed the wrong product. He didn't look at it well. I think he was meaning to pick up tuna fish because he's the only one that'll eat it i do not eat tuna fish whatsoever 
Sometimes he'll make a tuna fish sandwich or sometimes he'll put tuna in macaroni and cheese, you know, tuna macaroni and cheese casserole. Um, I'll take my macaroni out first and then he'll add his tuna fish to because I will not eat tuna. I never did. I do not like it. So I think he made a mistake. So who knows? Then... I found these bargains in the store today. Um, this was a dollar twelve cents for seasonings again. Great value. This is the three point four ounce of the garlic powder. You never can have enough garlic powder for when you're trying to add flavor to your dishes. So I've got some garlic powder. Also picked up. This is three point twenty five ounces. In onion powder can never have enough of this either and also picked up some more basil leaves this is 0 0.80 of the basil leaves these are like the essentials that you need for when you're um, cooking and I picked up one of the minced onions in case you need minced onion for something. But there was more to choose from. There was, you know, more spices, paprika and all this. They had tons of different things, oregano and all of this business. But um, they're, they're widely available all the time. But I, they're the ones I use the most. And i never seen this before, but it was a um, dollar. A dollar. So I grabbed it. This is the True Pitmaster's Choice Original. Since 1953, Open Pit Barbecue Sauce Original. And it is, oh my God, it is so hard to see. Hold on a minute. This is really hard to see. I think it's, oh my God, it's, it's so dark. I think it says 18 ounces. Open Pit. Pitmasters original barbecues, barbecue sauce, a dollar. And this is good until June of 2025. And I love barbecue sauce on so many things. So for a dollar, I said, hell yeah, I'm grabbing that, man. So I picked up two. Here's two. Three. Let's see if I can somehow get these in the picture. Uh, let me see. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. <laughs> Hold on just a moment. Okay, there's three of them. And four. A dollar a piece, 18 ounces, open pit, original flavor, barbecue sauce. Great for barbecuing. Indoor, outdoor, just making barbecue chicken in the fridge. Dipping sauce for chicken, fries, whatever you need barbecue sauce for. So it's dated, like I said, out to uh, June, June or July of 2025. It's back here on the bottle, um, right down here, but it's a little hard to see on some of the bottles. But here, um, yeah, I grabbed four of them because I love barbecue sauce on so much stuff, burgers included. So I'm set for a while. Then I also picked up this. This is um, by Kraft. I think it was $2.28 a bottle. Um, this is 16 fluid ounces. It is the sun-dried tomato vinaigrette for on salads. I was also thinking of making a pasta salad and using this sun-dried tomato vinaigrette in my pasta salad. Never had it before, but it looks so freaking good. And I thought maybe this would be good on um, marinating chicken breasts in um, sun-dried tomato flavor. Yeah, so I got that. Um, even, ch you know, um, chicken breasts or chicken legs or thighs and, and marinating it and, and cooking it. Yeah, I think that would be delicious with some pasta on the side. Okay, then I got some candles and wax melts, but I also have a few beauty products. These are by Wet n Wild, and they were a dollar a piece. They um, were ringing up more. Excuse me, I had to get a drink. They were actually ringing up more than a dollar. Then the girl had to 
go look and see that the tag did say a dollar. So this is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush right here, and I end up getting it for the dollar in the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. Then I picked up the Wet n Wild contour brush. I think you can actually use it as a blush brush. You know, a little bit smaller one. But it's for contouring. It said I paid a dollar. And then this one actually is the powder brush. This is for, you know, spreading your powder around on your face. And there was a fourth one that I seen. It was the brow brush. But I don't do nothing with my brows. My brows are fine just the way they are. Okay. Now, I got some wax melts here and I'm going to show you what I got again some of these are repeated and some of them I haven't had in a while so I figured it's time for me to pick them up I never know what I want um from time to time in the wax aisle I love bakery and I love fruits you all know that but sometimes um and I like beachy and linen scents also. But I bounce around according to my mood and how I feel. So, um, these are all year-round scents, but some of them can be used at fall time. Or they can be considered as being fall. But, I buy whatever floats my boat at the time. So, here I ended up picking up two of the mainstays warm apple pie and this is baked apples cinnamon and spice 1.25 ounces and it's in a very deep dark red a very dark dark red like the skins on it um some apples where the red is so um red it looks like a brick red color so got this and yeah this smells it smells like apple pie there's a slight crust smell to this. Definitely cinnamon, clove, apple. It's so good. So, I picked up two of those in this here. And I picked up the Sensationals warm apple pie also. I love going to Grandma's. I picked up this one. I've had it many, many times. It's been around a long time. And still is, you know, a number one favorite. And this is also in a very dark, dark brick, more than brick red color. And this one is apple pie too. But you get more of the doughy pastry crust in this one. Yeah, but you still smell that cinnamon, sugar, clove, and baked apple. But you get the pie crust. They're both very strong. One is a little sweeter than the other. One is a little more doughier, doughier than the other. But yeah. So I got two of the mainstays. Warm apple pie. And I picked up three of the Sensationals ones. Love this. Love this when I'm sitting and watching television. And smelling apple pie. It's like I'm baking something in the oven. So got that. Both of these throw very, very well. Also, this would be my third time recently purchasing this. This is the Better Homes and Gardens. It's the banana and pumpkin bread. It is pumpkin, honey, cinnamon, banana bread, brown sugar, vanilla bean, and caramel. Yeah, I've been hooked on this for the last two weeks. So I got enough for this whole week coming up. Yeah, really like this scent. And it is in a light caramel brown shade this is not spicy it is um, not like a, other pumpkin spices it's not even as spicy as the warm apple pies by mainstays or sensationals no these are more spicier those are um um they open up your sinuses because of the heavy cinnamon red hot cinnamon somewhat bakery cinnamon and then, of course, you know, the clove app. They, they really open your sciences. This isn't. This is not spicy in any way. This um, banana pumpkin bread, mm -mm, it's a combination of both pumpkin bread and banana bread. This is super sweet. 
It's very super sweet. Pumpkin-y banana sweetness also. And the caramel sweetness, the vanilla. Yeah, this is the bomb. You couldn't, you couldn't ask for anything better between pumpkin bread and banana bread both being combined together. Yeah, I love this so much, and I have a little story for you to tell, tell you. But let me show you here. I did pick three more of these up. Yep, got three more. This is enough for the week ahead for me because I'm obsessed with this scent, too. I like putting this on in the evening when I'm watching, you know, Lifetime or this or that. So between my pumpkin and banana bread and my apple pies, uh, I'm set. Okay, so I wanted to tell you this little story about this particular scent, what happened to me this past week. It was the day that I had to go to the dentist that I had talked about. I had to go see my regular dentist. And here, they were going to look at this tooth that was a root canal that was started some time ago. And the root canal was performed but that second part where you're supposed to go back to your dentist and then they take care of the tooth by um filling it in whatever after the root canal's done from the endodontists okay so i wasn't able to get back there um as close as i should have after this root canal was finished because that's when I ended up contracting Lyme disease. So that delayed me from getting back. But I was having pain off and on with the tooth after the root canal. So I don't know what that was all about. She's trying to tell me it could be coming from the tooth behind it and this and that and blah, blah, blah. But the tooth behind it doesn't bother. I don't understand this with teeth. But anyway, I went to my regular dentist this past week and I had a bright early appointment with him. And here he looked at it and he said, no, he was going to do what he would have done months earlier if I wouldn't have contracted the Lyme disease. He was going to straighten it out because she did that root canal. She claims the tooth was dead, but yet I had sensation in it at times. So after he fixed it, I've had no more problems in my with my teeth recently. I have no problem with that tooth now that he took care of it. But the funny story was that when I was sitting in the chair, he already started working on it. Then he stopped and then he went to go take care of somebody else and he was letting something dry in my mouth or whatever the story was. And here um came back and forth a few times between me and other patients. So when he skipped out of the room, one of the times, just for a brief amount of minutes, the assistant was still in the room with me. And she was there doodling and singing to herself, you know, um, or humming to herself. And then finally, she got really close to me again in the chair. And she just stared right through me and looking at me. And she said to me, what is your, what is your fragrance? Um, what, what kind of perfume do you wear? And I just looked at her. And I'm thinking to myself, perfume? I don't wear perfume. Um, I might wear body sprays, but I didn't put any on that day going to the dentist. Uh, what the hell do I need to smell great for the dentist for? You know what I'm saying? But usually sometimes I'll put a body spray on if I'm going somewhere else now, but not for the dentist. So here, um, I'm just looking at her like, why didn't she say something sooner? She was on top of me when he was doing the work, but this is after... He took a break for some reason. Like I said, he was waiting for something to harden in my mouth or set or whatever the case be. So um, she continues to say then to me as I'm looking at her, she says, what, what, is your, what, is, what is it you're wearing? What, what's the fragrance you use? And I said, I don't wear any perfume because I don't. I only put body sprays on once in a while. So here um, she said, well, you smell very, very sweet. I smell a lot of sweetness coming from you. And I thought, well, I don't know. The only thing that comes to mind is my wax melts and my candles. So I said to her, I said, oh, maybe it's coming from my wax melts. And she said, wax melts? What are those? I thought, oh, my God, she must be living under a rock. So I had to explain what wax melts were to her. And I told her, well, I was melting this particular one, the one right here, the banana pumpkin bread wax smell and I'm telling you it's very sweet it's a sweet smell it's not um 
There's no spiciness about this, okay? It's just super sweet. This must have been what she was smelling. And I told her, I said, oh, it must be the pumpkin banana wax melts that, you know, the fragrance, because I was warming it the night before. And then when I went to bed, it must have still been stuck to my hair, my skin, my, you know, my clothing. My coat is only right outside this room on a hook right here where I hang my coat all the time when I'm coming and going. And that fragrance travels towards the direction of where my coat hangs on a hanger, um, a hook on the wall, not a physical hanger, but, a, a, you know, a placky thing that you can hang your jacket on. It has little bears on it, and their paws are like this, and then the, the paws is where the hooky part is to hang, you know, hats, jackets, whatever. So when I use my wax melts in this room, the room is filled up with fragrance, but it also travels out of this room, and it's right outside the French doors is where the bear hook is that I'm trying to tell you where my coat goes all the time. And, of course, that fragrance clings to that material. So that must have been what she was smelling because this is the last thing I burnt before and melted before I went to the dentist the night before. And then early in the morning I had the dentist appointment. So, yeah, it was funny that she kept telling me, she said, oh, my God, you smell so good, you smell delicious, you smell sweet. So, mm-hmm, it's nice when you get a compliment and, and you didn't even have to spray yourself with perfume. The, just the oils and the fragrance that's in wax melt and some candles that are strong ones, good ones, very fragrant. Mm-hmm, they do double duty. They don't only smell the house up, they smell you up too. So, or your office space, whatever. So, yeah, love this fragrance. And that's the little story behind it that happened this past week at the dentist's office. So, like I said, I picked up three more of these because I'm just hooked on this scent all of a sudden. Okay, then I picked up two more, two more of the Better Homes and Gardens Apple Sliced apples and cinnamon. I picked up two more of these. This is apple, pear, sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. I don't really get the clove in this too much, but again, this is the fourth, the third, because this was the pumpkin in the caramel color. But the warm apple pie sensationals and the warm apple pie mainstays and this Better Homes and Garden sliced apples and cinnamon, these are all dark red colored wax like the skins of certain apples the skins are really really dark red on certain ones yeah so there's an apple theme and a little bit of pumpkin banana going on here but yeah i love this one too it, it's cinnamon sugar you get the red hot cinnamon but you also get a little bakery cinnamon you get both and then you get that fresh apple smell but they're they're in that red hot cinnamon um Flavor reminds me of, the, like I said once before in one of my videos, it reminds me of when um, people used to make sliced apples and soak them in the red cinnamon solution and used to, you know, get that as a garnish on a plate in a family restaurant, diner, whatever. This is what that reminds me of so much. So I picked up two more in this. Then... I picked up some candles. I got three mainstays and I got three Andrews. So, hold on because I have these individually wrapped too. Because God forbid I don't want them to break. So, I got the mainstays. This is the mainstay cinnamon, which is cinnamon, clove, and vanilla. 20 ounce, one wick jar. I've had this in the past. Not a lot of times, but um, for some reason, my nose likes to scent a lot anymore. So, one wick, and I got it. It smells really good. It smells like cinnamon toothpicks. It smells like those little red heart candies. Red half a dollars, the fireball jawbreaker thing, all of that. That kind of cinnamon, even the cinnamon that's in close-up toothpaste in the cinnamon scent. This is what it reminds me of. Now, this does come in wax melts. This scent comes in wax melts. But the Walmart I was in tonight in Buckhorn, they didn't have any in the wax melt. They were sold out. 
the slot was empty. So I grabbed the jar of it. These jars are $6.97 a piece. So got the cinnamon, really like it. You could grate along, pair it up with so many different things. Got that one. Then I also picked up This is the Mainstays Warm Apple Pie, which we just talked about in the wax melts right here, which was the baked apple, cinnamon, and spice, 20-ounce jar. I got one of these. This was very low there, too. There was only another one left. Everybody must be on a cinnamon and an apple cinnamon and an apple pie kick because these fragrances, were um, a lot were missing from the normal spot. And these two here, both of these have been around a long time and they're usually available all year long, all year, just not fall time or Christmas time. So, yeah, I got the warm apple pie also in this, but this one doesn't have the flat lid like I just showed you on the other one. It doesn't have the flat glass lid. This one has the, the plastic lid with the one punch hole thing in it. Yeah, it smells just like the wax melt. Very sweet apple pie. Mm -hmm. This one, the, the main seeds is more sweeter, and the sensational is one that I just showed you. This one's more spicier. This one's more sweeter. But they're both apple pie scents. Love it. Wish somebody would come out with a peach pie one again. You know, peach pie, um, even a strawberry pie. Um, not that I don't like apple, but I wish there was a couple more pie scents in Walmart that you can choose from. Okay, then... I picked up another one of these that I got one the other day, but I decided I want another one. This is the Mainstays White Rose and Peach, Georgia Peach, White Rose, and Peony Petals, 20 ounces. I got another one of these. Figured I might as well get it now so I have it for when spring and summer comes. This is, um, my, this color is not white. It's not even cream. It is a so muted, and I put the emphasis on muted. It is a very muted, pinky pinch, but it's very muted. And it is single wick also. It does have the glass flat lid, not the dome ones anymore. Yeah, it smells like beautiful peach, but beautiful peony rose kind of a fragrance. And did they not say jasmine in this? No. Peony petals, white rose, and the peach. Yeah, it's very pretty. So I grabbed another one of these. I do not see it in wax melts. Who knows? Maybe it might pop up. It may not pop up. But as long as they're in the 20-ounce jar and the 3-wick 11.5-ounce, yeah, you can get that way. You can scoop out if you want to put it in your warmer and not even light the flame or just put under a candle lamp, which is what I'm going to be doing um, with these. So... Got another one of those, $6.97. Then I picked up three Yankees. Two are identical, and one is a new scent to me all together, new, new. New meaning new for them and new also for me. So I picked up another two of the Yankee Candle Salted Caramel. I love this one just as much as I love the White Strawberry Bellini. Love this ever since it came out when Yankee Candle brought it out. I love this salted caramel scent. This, of course, does have the Yankee Candle part here, the domed lid, bubble lid. Yeah, you really smell the sea salt in this. It's a different kind of caramel. It's not those overly sickingly gooey, sweetie ones, but it's a good, rich one. It has some sweetness, but you also get that sea salt saltiness. And I love this scent. It is so freaking good. And it scents up the house really, really nice. Yeah, so I had to get myself two of those. So, there's the two in Yankee Candles um, Salted Caramel. Love this. The picture's different than it was when it first came out. The picture on the label is completely different. This is a new, updated one. Different um, picture. Because I have some of this from when it first came out. Like I said, I went through a lot of it, bought lots of it. And it has a different picture on the label. But this um, this is our newest one for this. So, 
Yeah, love this scent. And the new one I got from Yankee Candle in Walmart. And totally new to me. This is Yankee Candle Desert Blooms. It's called Desert Blooms. And it's a baby pink. There's a lot of swirling and marbling in this jar. There was in the caramel ones too. This is a soft baby pink. It reminds me of the pink that they used for Pink Sands. The, the shade of pink. Yeah, it's the same kind. This is strong. Um, I'm not sure what all the scent notes are on it. But there's a good picture of what the label looks like. And... This should have no problem throwing. This is strong. It's a nice florals, but I can't tell you what exactly the florals are, but they're not roses, they're not lavender. It's not a, nothing like that. It's very pretty. It has a little bit of a powder undertone to it. But it has a little bit of something in here that's um, incense-like. Like when you burn incense. But it's very pretty. So I thought, why the hell not? Throw it in my cart and let's go with something different. Let's roll the dice and see what, what goes on. So yeah, this I can see being perfect for spring and summer. Even part of early fall. Or hell, all year long in your bedroom. Or your living room. Wherever you like, you know, fragrance. It's very nice. It's not a harsh floor. It's a very pleasant floor, but I just can't tell you what it is. I have to look this up. But it's called Desert Blooms. Okay. And that takes care of the candles. And the last and only thing I got was a lipstick again. This here is from Wet n Wild. It's in, it's engraved into the tube, the words wet and wild. It has the metallic, um, metallic light pink lips on there. These do show up in Dollar Tree because I've found them in Dollar Tree. This particular line from wet and wild with the metal lips. I have found this, um, in Dollar Trees many times in those clear packages that they put, um, Revlon in and, um, all the major makeup companies, they always put them in those clear bags for the Dollar Tree. And this one, um, this particular line shows up a lot in Dollar Trees. The Wet n Wild, um, with the matted lips on. But this scent here is called, um, Skinny Dippin'. It's called Skinny Dippin' and it's a matte, mega last lipstick. And... I want to show you the color. It's light, skinny dipping. It's something that, you know, goes with just about any skin tone. Any skin tone. Skinny dipping. You have to pull this paper all the way down to break the seal so that the top of the lipstick um, tube can come off. You can see it through the clearness right there when it's on. But this is a, it's a very soft mauve that's kind of like a pink with a tiny little brown um, to it. It's a neutral color. I don't know if it's picking up very good on there. But it's like a um, very soft pink with a little bit of a brown undertone. It's a nude shade. So I got that, and this was not a dollar or even a dollar and quarter in Walmart. They were two twelve, but I don't care. That's still a good deal for a lipstick. I would never, even if I had lots of money, I still would never spend um, no more than five dollars on a lipstick. It's lipstick. Come on, you can find something between a dollar into five dollars in a pretty shade and not have to break the bank you know what i'm saying lipstick you know is lipstick sure i understand that some are a little sticky some are a little tacky some don't you know whatever but for me yeah no more than five bucks that's more than enough but this was 212 so i grabbed that and that's everything i got from the walmart tonight so 
if you like this video, thumbs it up. Helps my channel grow, spread the word. I am getting more subscribers. I am really happy and shocked at the same end um, that, you know, my channel is growing a little bit each time. And, um, yeah, this is what I have for everyone. And my husband does have to work tomorrow, Saturday, but he'll be out by 2 o'clock and home. And we might go out again, even if it's raining like they're saying it's going to. That's not going to stop me from going out. I'm still going to go out to stores and look around and maybe go out to eat again, but maybe try something different than McDonald's. We'll have to see. And, um, yeah. And like I mentioned in a couple more videos from now, I'll be showing some of my artwork. I've been coloring my little heart out every day. Sometimes I sit down and color three, four sheets a day in my hours that um, I'm waiting for my husband to return from work and stuff like that. Other than housework that I do, you know, I sit down and color for a little bit. de-stresses me. Um, some days I get to color two sheets, another day three or four sheets. I've even bumped up to five sheets at times. It all depends on how I feel. And sometimes if I can't sleep at night and I'm toss and turn and toss and turn, I'll get up and I'll color for a little while and then it'll make me, you know, a little tired so then I can go rest again. So that's everything I have for everyone. And um, enjoy your weekend. Saturday and Sunday and... Um, be good, be kind, keep your spirit up, and I'll talk to you real soon. Long, everyone. Bye-bye.